Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Josh Bordelotti here. The Call of Duty Modern Warfare story trailer. The official one uh, was put out a couple hours ago. I didn't think I would actually be doing any reactions to this game. I was really, really excited once it first got announced um, with kind of the direction they're kind of taking it, bringing it back to a little more of its roots. Uh, definitely to try, you know, make the, uh, the player base more engaged with, uh, with Call of Duty again versus kind of what's, uh, what the pattern has been over the last couple of years. Uh, but after playing the beta uh, in particular, um, I am definitely really, really excited to see how this game is going to look for its, uh, for its complete release. I know that they're, they're going to be switching around the voice actors for price, which is what we got originally with the, with the reveal trailer. Um, and I'm curious as to whether or not this is going to be a complete reimagining with like Price just being kind of like another character in it. If they're going to be like retelling the events of kind of the Call of Duty 4 in its own reimagined way, if it's going to be like a rebooted kind of movie kind of thing. Um, whether or not it's a brand new story, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but judging from a couple comments that I quickly saw and the like-dislike ratio, which is YouTube democracy at work. Um, people are pretty pretty happy with this so far. So I hope to be happy too. And without any further ado, I'm going to jump right into it. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Okay, so definitely not a reimagining of Call of Duty 4's uh, story at all. It's completely brand new. Chemical weapons in this kind of uh, fictional, uh, was it Uzbekistan or something like that? Uzbekistan, I don't know. Yeah, so even judging from one of the previous trailers as well, there's gonna be a little bit taking place in other parts of of Europe, possibly. I'm curious why they wanted to bring back Price. Because, as awesome as that looks, like, I was having, like, obviously, I know they're pre rendered in game cutscenes, but even seeing that kind of like a little bit of transition to kind of gameplay from it, it felt like it was a lot more kind of faithful and a lot more representative of kind of what the gameplay is going to be like, especially since I played a bit of it. Um, I can see how it's gonna, those cutscenes are gonna look phenomenal. 
But I'm, I'm curious why they wanted to bring back Price in this manner. Because I did not, I did not get any Price energy, if that, if that makes, if that makes sense. Certain characters, even if they, you know, like even when it comes to movies, when they, when they recast someone for a role for whatever reason, or they reboot it and they have to just kind of, you know, start from the ground up. Certain people are able to bring something to the table, their own interpretations of a character. So I can see how this is obviously going to be an interpretation of this of, of Captain Price. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting that kind of old, grizzled interpretation that we were seeing in the original uh, Modern Warfare trilogy. Um, maybe that also has to do with the just the voice actor. But I feel like their justification for kind of all the things I, I mentioned, uh, it's going to be similar to why they brought back Captain Price from Call of Duty 2 to Call of Duty 4, where it was almost like the same character, but now in a different war, in a different setting. Um, so maybe they're trying to do something like that here as well, where basically the events of the Modern Warfare trilogy didn't happen. So this is just like he's, I forget what that term is for it though, but he's just like a, like, like a character, like the same kind of like canvas that you can just put in any different situation. Uh, maybe they're gonna do something like that um, But in any case going back to now, let's go back to the actual story of it This whole kind of chemical weapons thing fighting terrorists so war in a country thing it is That is kind of modern warfare. That is that is very indicative of the kind of current Geopolitics of what a game like this might try to capture less, you know, uniform against uniform kind of uh, conventional armies um, very much radicalized transnationals, um, weapons of mass destruction, um, co and then coalitions of, of allies um, that didn't stop it. Um, it felt really good. It felt really good kind of watching that uh, versus all the other kind of Call of Duty that have come out recently. But I am, I am really excited for it. I've already pre-ordered it actually, which is I think this is the first Call of Duty I pre-ordered since Ghosts. And I know that obviously this kind of trailer isn't even going to reveal everything completely just yet. Uh, like one thing that I read in an article was that there's going to be kind of a cool decision-making mechanic in regards to whether or not you shoot someone who you think is a threat and whether or not you, you hold your fire. It's all stuff that I think is a good evolution for a game that's trying to explore this kind of genre and in this kind of, you know, FPS markets. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, if there's anything that you think I said that was complete BS, uh, because I'm an idiot and I missed something, post down in the comments, let me know. If there's anything you agree with me on, definitely post that down in the comments too. I'm curious to see if there's anything that I, that I said that kind of uh, rang true. And so, yeah, thank you, take it easy.